Hello again, friends and Dino Nuggets, and welcome back to my Pokemon Scarlet playthrough, episode number eight. Today's episode, we should be going to our very first gym. You can kind of see it in the distance there. Uh, and we're going to be taking on our first gym, so I can't wait to do that. Uh, but first and foremost, I would like to... Um, I found out that if we go to the Pokemon Summary... We don't need a name raider or a nickname changer. We actually just change the nickname from here. And so Lechonk here is now going to be named. Hopefully it all fits. It'll be Stray Hydragun. And oh, it's going to barely not be enough. We're going to call him Stray Hydra. Gun won't fit. It'll be the... 13 out of 12, but Stray Hydra, that's our Lechonk, our shiny Lechonk, in fact. And remember, I have a list of people who wanted to be named certain things, um, but if you guys just let me know uh, what Pokemons you want to be named after, I will absolutely be happy to do that for you. Um, so anyway, um, let's find out what we got to do. I don't remember what the gym challenge was. It was something about statues, and so... I remember being told, yes, over here, that I'll be told information about how to complete. We'll do here. Ready to gather up some sun flora. So let's check. Hi there. I look after Artisan's Jim's Sun Flora. I hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time for a game of Sun Flora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Oh. Sounds like the Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you've found 10 Sunflora, please bring them back here to the Sunflora lawn. That's all for me now. Good luck out there. Alright, so it's time to find the Sunflora throughout the town. I'm sure we could do that, not too bad. So we have found zero so far. We need to find, I believe she said 10. Oh, I see one, you see it? Here's one. Excuse me, Sunflora. Found one. This one's gonna follow us now, apparently. So we got one with us. We're gonna need to find few more here's one not oh that's not fair there we go <laughs> they should not be allowed to run away like that oh this one wants to fight us all right well we're going to use ember on you didn't do very much damage also, that Sunflora is lagging quite a bit. He seems like very slow compared to the other one. <laughs> oh, come on. Did you really have to draw this out so much? We could have just... We <laughs> could have just um, gotten this over with really quickly. We need a physical fire attack because with... Uh, Shark Cadet, it seemed like it was a physical attacker, and so Ember is not doing very much for us. Oh my goodness. They're just going to try to sap all of our life out. And another Ember. Can we get a burn? Nope. Okay, we should get, get this Sunflora on the next turn, hopefully. I don't know if we're not supposed to be killing it, by the way. It's supposed to follow us. <laughs> so why are we making it faint? I don't know. We'll find out. But this battle, this is telling me that Shark Cadet's going to struggle a little bit with damage output until we get a better fire move for him. Azuro with a level up. Oh, Sunflora is now... Two. Oh, and I got a sunstone. Did you see that? 
That's cool. So if we catch a sun current, we can actually get our own sunflora. We're actually going to switch. Let's go ahead and switch to Wooper. Wooper has a, um, there's actually a button for make lead Pokemon. Great addition. Um, Wooper is a poison type. Poison, super effective to grass. Oh. It's quite a, quite a ways away from us. I think I saw a Sunflora hiding. You see him in the pot there <laughs> behind us. Poison Tail. Let's see how this does. Oh, that does a good amount of damage. How about us? Not bad. Also not great. I think that if he uses Mega Drain again, we're gonna be toasted. Oh, Ingrain, perfect. That was the kind of move we wanted him to use. Might be her, I didn't check this Sunflora. This one's a her, all right, fair enough. I see a Sunflora up there on the, on the wall. I'm trying to see them all early. Oh, tons of level ups on that one. Wooper wants to learn Slam. Let's go ahead and use Slam instead of Tackle. It's stronger. Right? 80 and then 40. Oh yeah, way stronger. And then somebody wants to learn Dig. Lechonk wants to learn Dig. I think Dig will be better than... Oh yeah, Dig will be much better than Mudshot. So, Stray Hydra, you now know how to dig. Perfect. We got another Sunflora with us. We have this one here. We have... Let's check over here real quick. It's a Sunkern, but I don't see a Sunflora over here. I just want all of them to follow us at one time. <laughs> it's like a, a gang of Sunflora following us. Here's another one. Perfect. So we got five. And again, I think we need ten. Oh, I see one over there. Maybe we need to run around a little faster here. Hopefully we can pick these guys up. Yes. While on there, we can say hello. Let's go behind over here. I feel like one might be hiding over here somewhere. Sunflora's falling out of the sky to follow us around. <laughs> There's so many of them. Now, I bet you the rest of them will be up here. Because I haven't really... I feel like I haven't really even looked that many places. Look at here's one. There's actually a maze. Can we cheat and just jump over it? Not quite. They kind of uh, they planned for that. I couldn't tell if there was one in there or not. Another statue. This guy just makes a bunch of the same statues. Oh there's another Sunflora. Very good. Oh, and here's the last one. Time to bring him to the lawn. Whoa. Uh, nobody makes it over here except for anybody who tries to walk into this maze. Oh, there's a poison tail, not too bad. So let's continue. This should actually give us access to the gym now. I think finding our way out was harder than finding our way in. <laughs> 10 Sunflora found. Let's go ahead and get right back to the lawn. And have fun, Sunflora. I passed. We passed the gym test. 
and we should now be able to take on the gym leader. Well done on finding all these sunflora. You passed the gym test with flying colors. Now please head back to the lobby at the artisan gym to report your result. Awesome. So now we can go fight the boss. What we're going to do is go to the Pokemon Center first. We do have um, a few injured Pokemon. Let's make sure we take care of them. And then I don't know if this is a grass gym or if this is... I don't know what kind of gym this is yet. Grass gym, bug gym, who knows? The Sunflora thing would make me think that it's a would make me think that it's a grass gym because Sunflora is obviously a grass type. But I'm not entirely sure. I guess we're going to find out. We're going to talk to the TM machine real quick. Um, let's see if we can make anything. So here's Fire Fang. Oh, really close. The materials we need. Uh, this would be better for... Uh, I bet you Shark uh, Shark Cadet can't learn Poison Fang. That would be a little bit weird, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> well, we've got tons and tons of options here. A low Kick is not a bad item. We will absolutely look for that soon. We'll, we would love to get a physical fire type move. Something like Flare Bits Blitz would be cool. I don't know if he learns that one or not. Okay, so here we are. We are at the gym leader. So it is grass. See, gym badge, grass type. So we are going to go ahead and head inside and take on our first gym leader of Pokemon Scarlet. Let's think about this. So Shark Cadet has not been doing a very good job. In our boxes, who do we have that could help in this? Fletchling, um, who is a flying type, could help. We have Gimme Ghoul, who would not help against grass types, but is, he looks cool. Fletchling is probably our best choice compared to some of these others. What we're going to do is we are going to move Fletchling and we'll take out Azuril for now. And these three are kind of our main damage dealers. And these three, in fact, Palmy can actually, we'll put Azuril right back in. And Azuril will be, I like keeping them separate because Palmy is someone I will be using. So Azuril is actually a, a normal fairy type, so um, technically it's neutral type. Bray is the same type, and Lechonk is neutral type. So we have plenty of options here. Let's hope that we lead with the right one. I, I do think Wooper has been holding his own. Sharkadet could be good with being able to place a burn on with Will-O-Wisp, but we'll figure that out as we go. Let's take him on. That means you've cleared the gym test. Sounds good. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. You ready to challenge the gym leader Brassius, the Verdant, the Verdant, Virtuoso? Yep. Let's do our best. So we're going to have our first gym battle. I don't know what to expect in terms of aesthetic. I've been doing a very, very good job of not allowing myself to spoil the game. So I don't really know anything about what happens in the game. And so that's always, it's more exciting for me. Greetings, challenger. Whoa. <laughs> He's up on the windmill. I thought we were gonna fight him up on the windmill. You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing grass type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in finding Sunflora was truly, oh, how shall I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk, we must begin creating our collaborative work of art. 
All right. Much more official in terms of the battlefield and everything, which is really cool. I trust that you are ready. It is time for our masterpiece to take shape. Let's see what we can do. Challenged by gym leader Brassius. And Whooper comes out and Whooper's ready for this. Whooper's been preparing for this fight. Art is creation and destruction. Struggle, else your defeat will something for his Pokemon. All right, so we are going to Poison Tail. Uh-oh. Whooper's not very fast. It's okay. He does have the super effective typing. So he's going to take two Mega Drains. But Whooper should kill on this attack. Oh, not quite. Oh, but Poison? Will Poison take him out? Let's see. And he did. <laughs> A great turn of events for us. Shark Cadet has leveled up. Small Live. I do not know what Pokemon that is, but I'm going to guess that it's a grass type. Let's go ahead and throw out Fletchling. Fletchling's very fast. And so we're going to hope that Fletchling can um, get to him before he can do much damage to us. Small Live. Oh, I have no idea who that is. So I'm kind of wondering if terrestrializing would be a good idea here. I don't know. So his Terra type is normal, so it wouldn't actually be that great of a, an idea. Shark Cadet would be a much better idea to um, to terrestrialize in this fight. So let's go ahead. We're gonna use Peck. A decent amount of damage. It's nothing, nothing great. Not bad though. We're gonna use Ember. Maybe we can get a lucky burn. There's no stab. Okay, no, also no lucky burn. We're gonna use Peck. And then we're gonna use Quick Attack. Or we'll use Peck because there's no reason not to. We know we're faster than it because we've been outspeeding it the whole time. Fletchling levels up to 15. Wants to learn Flail. We're not going to learn Flail. Oh, interesting. So if a Pokemon skip learning moves or forgets old moves, they can learn them again. Open the main menu, select the Pokemon, then click Check Summary. On the status screen, go to Moves and Stats tab to check your Pokemon's moves and help it remember some. Interesting. So instead of a, a Rememberer... Oh! Did you guys see that? It's Pseudo Wudo. <laughs> <laughs> Break and take on a pseudo wudo. That's not a grass type, you cheater. <laughs> this has promise. Yes, let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. Unless pseudo wudo has a new form or something. No, you're not a you're not grass. All right, we're going to terrestrialize and we're going to seed bomb him. Let's see this break in terrestrialized form. I don't think we've seen it yet. Still got the flowers out of his head. Allow me to touch this work up slightly. I will call it Triludo Wudo. Oh my goodness, so he's going to terrestrialize it into a grass type? So now it's not very effective for me to use grass moves. <laughs> Why didn't I assume that was going to happen? I didn't even think about it. Oh, that's so funny. At times, art becomes a race against the clock. Let us increase the pace. Trailblaze. Interesting. Is that like an agility? Oh, very interesting. 
Uh, let's hope he doesn't now uh, end up. Let's use quick attack. See how much this does. Not very much. So this trail blaze is an attack. It's obviously a grass attack that gives him a speed boost, which is interesting. He's going to be faster. Oh, no, we're still faster. Let's give him a bite and hopefully flinch. Nope. The trail blaze. Thankfully, his trailblaze move is not very effective to us. So we're going to hope that... I think Seed Bomb did more than the other two moves, by the way. Okay, now he's dropping Rock Throw, which is not great because of our fire types. Yeah, Seed Bomb definitely is better. Seed Bomb is better. Oh, and Bray takes the faint here. I thought we could survive one more. I didn't do the math. So that's on me. So we have options here. Oh, I think this will be our best bet here. So Azuril. We're going to switch in Azuril. Who takes... Um, completely neutral damage to every attack he has. Because he's not a water type yet. He's not a Meryl. Normal fairy type. And we're going to use Bounce. Bounce is super effective against uh, grass types because it is flying. Use Trailblaze, but it's going to avoid and bounce right on his head and get the faint. So his brilliant crown of flowers is gone. Azuril takes down the pseudo Wudo. Doesn't quite level up yet, though. Uh oh, Brassius is not very happy. Avant garde! Oh, what artistic tactics you employ. The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed, if we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Here we go. And we get our first badge. If you possess one gym badge, it will be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 25, and those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would also like to offer this, a favorite of mine. Oh, and the Trailblaze, which might be very good for Bray. User attacks suddenly, as if leaping out from tall grass. The user's nimble footwork boosts its speed stat. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. We are definitely, definitely, definitely going to teach Trailblaze to Bray. Then we're going to call it Trail Braze. <laughs> and the phone rings. Hey, hey, Bubasaurus. Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How'd it go at the gym, by the way? I passed. Yes, haha, <laughs> I mean, it was obvious you were going to pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, passed me. I'm training hard too, by the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldia. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm, speaking of strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm going to want a battle if we run into each other. So we got some Pokédex entries for those Pokémon. We're going to get out of here because the camera angle in there is wacky. And let's go ahead and look at Trailblaze. Should be here. Trailblaze. 
This user attacks suddenly as if leaping out from tall grass. Okay, power 50. Accuracy 100. Some interesting Pokemon can learn this. I see Wooper can learn this, which is kind of an interesting, an interesting move for Wooper to learn. We definitely want to give it to... We definitely want to give it to Bray. And I think we're going to put it over Bite, I would say. I'd rather have Quick Attack, which is a priority move. It's just going to be a little bit better for us, I think. Um, we also have so many items here. <laughs> so many different items. There's a Terra Orb. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see um, how this progresses. So that's already our first gym down. First gym down. We've got plenty and plenty of Pokemon over here. We're making, I feel as though we're making like slow but steady process, progress I should say. I always want to take these shortcuts and they don't let you jump. So let's heal our Pokemon. Heal them up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this route really quickly. And I believe it was um, our good friend Tubasaurus told me that these crystals that I saw in the last couple episodes are actually what are called raid crystals. And that those are actually, oh, the skittos. I didn't want to fight him. I didn't really even see him, to be honest. We should be able to get him in a hit or two. Why are they so fast? It's just that whooper is very slow. <laughs> oh, if you poison. Oh. It's <laughs> hoping for the poison. That would have been perfect. Oh, perfect, whooper. Thank you for avoiding that. Slam. And we won't worry. Oh, Azuril got another level up. We're going to come down this way. And check out this crystal here. So I guess we have to jump off the edge with this guy. I guess they don't just let us walk off the edge. Great balls, plenty of them. What is that guy? I haven't seen him yet. Let's see. That looks like a new one. Nimble. Let's use Mudshot. The Astonished Scare. Flinched. Oh no. Try the Mudshot. I'm really hoping that he's not a flying type because this wouldn't do anything. He kind of looks like a grasshopper. Okay, so I bet you, obviously, bug type. I didn't think about that. Let's use poison tail. Assurance. Okay, let's try to catch him. We don't need to use a great ball, I don't think. Oh, we should have used one, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and use... Now, I feel like... Maybe Slam won't kill. Let's see. If it does, we're not too bothered. Oh. <laughs> That's what I was hoping he wasn't going to use again. It's not very effective, but it does attack twice. So let's use slam. Oh, that's a perfect, perfect amount of health for him to have. So he broke out of the ball the first time. Let's try a pokeball one more time. Two, three, got him. Now we are good. <laughs> Fletchling, level 16. So it is a grasshopper Pokemon. 
No nickname for the nimble. And we're going to send him to the boxes. So a very cool looking Pokemon for sure. So these are raid crystals. All around Paldea, you may spot gleaming crystals emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take on a Terra Raid battle and try to defeat a powerful Terra Pokemon. In Terra Raid battles, you'll work together with other trainers to battle powerful Terra Pokemon. You can battle alongside far away friends while you're in online mode or nearby friends while you're in offline mode. These battles will pit you against Terra Pokemon with rare Terra types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat the Terra Pokemon, you'll have a chance to catch it and also get special items. So it has a one star. I don't know if we're, we'd be able to fight this by ourselves. Um, I don't know. This is obviously some kind of worm Pokemon. <laughs> For what it looks like, it looks like a little hot dog. Um, but that is definitely something that we plan on doing in the future. We are definitely going to do um, some raids and whatnot. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited to do that. Is that a trainer that we have fought already? We have not fought, fought this trainer yet. I do see over here. I don't think this is. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that this is a raid. This one is actually a Terra Dunsparce, which we are going to. Oh, no disappeared on me <laughs> oh that's not cool so the Dunsparce did not want to be attacked or caught so he ran away unfortunately there's not much I can do about that <laughs> I was gonna end the episode with uh, fighting him but it looks like we will end the episode by just talking so if you've enjoyed this episode, I, I've been Bubasaurus, your host. Uh, if you've liked this episode, please like this video and comment and talk to me and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Uh, thank you guys for watching again. And remember to always be on your Bubasaurus best.